Hello. Before we start, if Richard Osman wants to talk about the Thursday Murder Club and plagiarism and who had the idea first, I mean... a bunch of weird but adorable characters team up once a week to solve mysteries, uh, hello? Let's meet the teams. On my right, Harry Heath, who collects Olympic memorabilia. Claire Barrow, who deconstructed 50 ties to make a patchwork quilt. And their captain, Dan Afshar, whose first job was as an electrician in Buckingham Palace. United by falling at the final fence, they are the also-rans. I say that, Dan, because you all nearly won Mastermind. You met in the final of that charming nursery-level quiz. <laughs> <laughs> How did that lead to this? Um, well, we figured that our collective brains might do slightly better than our individual brains, so we formed a team. Do you know that you have different strengths as quizzes? Um, well, we've got different ages as quizzes, so uh, Harry's the, the junior on the team, so hopefully he'll fill in the gaps that me and Claire um, have in our knowledge. That was gallant, wasn't it, Claire? <laughs> I'd have guessed that you were the youngest. Oh, bless. <laughs> Good luck this evening. You are facing, on my left, Louise Gardner, a doctor in the NHS and member of the Berkshire Triathlon Squad. Kate Gardner, a school matron and ABBA enthusiast. And their captain, Anna Gardner, a postgraduate geography student whose favourite food is celery. United by their genetics, they are the Gardners. Anna, have any of you been on any other TV quizzes? No, this is our first. Why would you start with <laughs> this one? Thinking the same thing myself, actually. <laughs> It's impossible to tell on your team which is the youngest. <laughs> you must be triplets. That's what I'm assuming. <laughs> Thank you very much for choosing us. Good luck. Thank you. Also rounds, you won the toss. You've decided to go first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, we'll have water, please. OK. What connects these apparently random clues? Here's the first. Um, this is your area. Yeah, it's like gold mm -hmm. Possibly. Take another one, yeah, Next, please. Johnson, they were Johnsons? Yes. Trying to Johnson, yes. Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson and the hurdles champion. Take another one. Um, yeah, we'll take next, please. Yeah, Johnson yeah. and Johnson. Yeah. yeah. They're all Johnsons. Very well done. You didn't need the last clue. The pharmaceutical company, the famous Johnson and Johnson. What can you tell me about the clues you did see? Uh, the first one I've just remembered is Alan Johnson and Michael Johnson. They were champions at the 1996 Olympics, that's right. Yeah. Um, the Foreign Secretary was... Was that also Alan Johnson? No, Boris, Boris Johnson. Uh, uh, Boris Johnson and... Um, there's two Johnsons. Uh, Joe Johnson? It was his brother, Joe, Joe Johnson. Johnson. I yeah. mean, there's an awful lot of Johnsons. Yeah. And the FBI agents were Johnson & Johnson, um, as is the pharmaceutical company. Yes, Big Johnson and Little Johnson are those FBI agents in Die Hard. Very well quizzed. Over to you, gardeners. What would you like? I think we'll have the twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. What is the connection between these picture clues? Here's the first. Is that part the Rosetta Stone? Yeah, okay. Possibly. Yeah. Next, please. Do we know what kind of old car that is? Maybe an old Ford or something like yeah. that. Rosetta Stone. Next, please. Not Rosetta Stone. Oh, um, Malcolm X. It was a Malcolm X. Was that a Malcolm? Or is it going to be like the Ford, like Model T, Y, or X or yeah, something? Yeah, do you want to get a four? And that's an X. Next, please. Oh, that's oh, Avenue Q. Q. So yes, it's letters okay. of the alphabet. Yeah. Yeah. We think they're all letters of the alphabet. They are simply linked by ending in letters of the alphabet. What are we looking at? Uh, we know we've got Avenue Q. Mm -hmm. Did you say Malcolm that was X. Malcolm X? That's right. Is that a Model T? And a Model something Ford, maybe a T maybe or a Y. A yeah. You're right, Louise. It's a Model T Ford. And that first one? Uh, I don't think we know don't that know. first one. It's Linear A, uh, which is an ancient writing, a Minoan civilization writing, not yet deciphered, but people are working on it. No doubt our viewers are deciphering it as we speak. <laughs> Back to you also, Rounds. What would you like? Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Could be anything. Yeah. Uh, next, please. There's a particular person who's done it. They could be all books written by Prince King Charles, because he has very strong views on architecture and climate change. Do you want to go for it? Would we know a third one? Yes, probably the old man of Loch Nagar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to say these are books written by King Charles. 
Sadly, I can't give you the bonus point for knowing Clue 3 would have been the old man of Loch Nagar. <laughs> and the last one, High Grover Garden Celebrated. They are all books written by His Majesty King Charles. Very well done. He has a co-writer on High Grover Garden Celebrated. Do you know who that co-writer is? Camilla? It's not. I'll give you a clue. His co-writer has the poshest name I've ever seen. <laughs> Have a go. Have a go at what oh. might be the poshest name I've ever seen. Sebastian... Um... Barrington Smythe. Hugo Chumley Fortescue. <laughs> no, it's Bunny Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny Guinness is the co-writer. Well done, gardeners. What would you like next? We'll have the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. So across the region. Next, please. Flags. Flag. China's red with yellow. Red with yellow. Yellow. Do you want to go again, Anna? Draw another. Yeah, oh. go again. Next, please. <laughs> Do you know what that is? Is that the oh, year? Okay. I, think. I don't know what the flag is. Though. It's not like Roman numerals. Is that maybe? Really... What's it? No. no. Mm. Do you want to get a full one? Have they got like China's got the hammer and the anvil and things like that? Yeah, I don't think Catalonia would go again. Mm. Next, please. One second. We think it's red and yellow flags. Red and yellow flags is the connection. Very I've well done. I should have gone <laughs> Which clues do you know about? Catalonia and China. Can you describe their flags? <laughs> the China's red with the yeah. yellow stars. The Chinese flag is red with the yellow stars. Catalonia is just red and yellow horizontal stripes. Do you know mm -hmm. what that flag is called? Do you know that? It's called the Seniera. The Seniera is its name. And lifeguard on duty. That's a red and yellow flag you might see on a beach. Shall I test you on your beach flags? <laughs> Go on, then. Are you keen surfers? Uh, Very. <laughs> what does it mean if you see a flag that is all red? Don't, don't, don't swim. Yeah. Don't swim. Black and white checks? Motor race in progress. <laughs> <laughs> no, it actually also means don't swim because it's a surfing area. And I think my favourite, all purple. What does a purple flag mean? Definitely don't swim. Well, Shots I mean, north. that's up to you because it actually means dangerous marine life. Oh, like jellyfish. Oh. Or exactly, like jellyfish. Yeah. Or oh, yeah. what are those little prickly things that like bite you on the feet? Urchins. Sticklebacks or yeah. stickleback <laughs> bricks or yes, all marine life is dangerous in my view. Back to you. Also, rounds for a choice. Uh, Eeny meeny, we'll have a horned viper, please. Why wouldn't you? That's why you wouldn't. Mm. <laughs> You'll be hearing your clues. First one coming in now. Next, please. No. Uh, next. That's a snooker loopy by Chaz and Dave. Uh, next, please. That's crazy, isn't it? Crazy, crazy loopy. Uh, they're all songs um, that refer to madness. Yes, they are. What did you recognise? Uh, well, Snooker Loopy by Chaz and Dave mm -hmm. and the Matchroom Mob. Um, crazy. Crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and I've forgotten the first one. The first one was Loco in Acapulco, the Four Tops. And then we had what they call the mad scene from Lucia Lammermoor. Okay. And what was the best of those pieces of music? Oh, Snooker Loopy. Bon I mean, <laughs> obviously. I've been listening to quite a lot of Chaz and Dave lately and they really are brilliant. Yeah. Ain't no pleasing you. It's What's just that? absolutely great. Wrong. Everything I ever done, only done for you. But they, but they really, when they sing it more tunefully than that. <laughs> and it's just they're funny and it's absolutely brilliant. Don't hear enough, Chaz and Dave. A single question left on the board, the lion question. <laughs> what do these clues have in common? Here's the first. Next. Go again. <laughs> yep. Next, please. Cracks skin. Could it going to be a, a translation? Yeah. Okay. Cracks skin. Something across the word. Breaking it up. Yeah, okay. Next, please. Chaps. 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 Yeah, chaps. chaps. Nice. We think it's all chaps. Very well done. It's all chaps. You didn't need the last clue. Electronic bank transfer system. Oh. All things that can be called chaps. And if you read the clues in order, it's quite the little haiku, isn't it? Men, <laughs> crack skin, leather trouser protection, <laughs> electronic bank transfer system. I mean, that takes me back to my wow. student days. I don't mind telling you. <laughs> Very well done. That means at the end of round one, the gardeners have four points. The also-rans have six.
Sequence is time. What comes fourth in a sequence? Also rounds, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you go? Uh, we'll go for water, please. Water. OK, we'll be seeing the first in a series of clues. I want to know what comes fourth. Time starts now. Yeah, next, please. Tarsia. Jockey. Take another one. Next, please. Be something to do with you. Yeah. Oh, Two seconds. What do we have for? I was wondering it could be Audis, but I don't think there's an Audi RM. Um, I can't no. give you long. We'll say a Audi. Not it, I'm afraid. Gardeners, would you like to have a go for a bonus point? It, we think it's you and then an anagram of uniform. It is you and then an anagram of uniform. We went with in forum. Oh, yes, it's our old friend, uh, the NATO uh, phonetic uh, alphabet. Uh, uh, Romeo. Romeo. S. Sierra. T. <laughs> the, Tango. They're written and I still can't work it out. T. Tango. Tango. Uniform. You uniform. Anagrams of the words used in the NATO phonetic alphabet. Well done. So you get the bonus and you may choose your own question. Which would you like? Uh, we'll have the two reads, please. Two reads. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. It's a show. Game show, isn't it? It's a game show. Yeah. Why would it be zero? Yeah, go again. Prize money or something. No. Next, please. Oh, that song. That's BBC, BBC One. one. Yeah. But ITV. Be one and then zero. Okay. At the time they're on? No, oh. it's not the channel, because oh. that a tip point's on. BBC, ITV One. I'd go again. Next, please. Oh. Also a TV show. Does it mean number of series? Two main characters. Oh. Number two with that name. Go again. Oh, oh, we're good for doing the fourth one. Two with the letters. There's two, two words for each thing. One word in each line. Two, two seconds. Oh, unfortunately, oh, you're just too late. You're out of time. <laughs> so a bonus chance for you also, Rans. No, I don't think we're seeing it either. No, no. You're not seeing Obviously, it? Drawing Drawing back. Back. No. I'll give you a clue. It's a maths question. Mm. There are zero dimensions in a oh. point. There is one dimension oh. in a line, two square. Oh. I need a TV show three, that names something cube. with three oh. dimensions. For example, the cube is what we want with ourselves. <laughs> yes, you see, this is the kind of thing here. The geography questions are really word questions and the word <laughs> questions are really maths questions. What a horrible quiz. Goodbye. What would you like for your own question? Uh, lion, please. Lion. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Would you answer 30 days? days. Um, yeah, so next one. <laughs> next, please. So it's got to be February then, hasn't it? Um, Everything else, basically. The, yeah. We've got two months missing, haven't we? Mm, I've got October. October and February. Mm. Is it a weird one? We could just say February and October. Mm. Two seconds. February, October? Not the answer, I'm afraid. Gardeners, do you know? Just February? Unlucky. It's just October. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favourite questions. I love this one. <laughs> it is months of the year in order of length. April, June, September and November have 30 days. March has 31 days, less one hour. Uh. Because the clocks go forward, so you lose an hour. Oh. January, May, July, August and December, 31 full days. And October, 31 days plus an hour. Because the clocks go back, so October is technically the longest month because it's an hour longer than the others. I mean, sometimes you get sort of leap seconds and that kind of thing, but uh, that's how you'd work out this one. I love that question. What would you like next, gardeners? We'll have the twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Okay, so could we? Uh, it's not in like the number of times they're mentioned in Joseph's yeah. amazing coat or something. Could be. Do you want another? Yeah. Next, please. Maybe 
look at this. What are the other colours? Oh, so we've got eight. What would be mentioned? Mentioned eight times. Red and orange and green and brown. Pink. Brown. brown. Or blue. Pink. 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 blue. What, what should we go with? Brown. Brown? Yeah. Eight. Pink. Eight. Two brown seconds. Pink. Eight. Pink and brown? Not it, I'm afraid. Also rounds. Your chance for a bonus. Purple, purple, eight purple. Eight purple? It's not purple. You mentioned snooker earlier. Usually snooker is the answer in this round. <laughs> it's not snooker, but it is pool. Oh. It's the base colour, so we're going down through the stripes, 11, 10, 9, up through the solids, orange, green, maroon, and the meat at 8, black. Oh. Black, which is black, black. and yeah. purple. Also rounds is the final choice of the round. Which will you have? Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Please. Yeah. To Ambridge. Yeah. Archers. Archers. Yeah. Archers. Mm. To... Can we Take Jane Mansfield? No. Take another. How many M's in the... uh, Next, please. Three. Through Pembroke. Oh. Is this where they go? Um, Same figure sounds like So M4. the M4 goes to something. Um, there's where soap setting is. Um, What's the one? Uh, Publican. Uh, we'll say M4 uh, Publicum. Not it. Fan the way I am of Publicum. That's not it. Gardeners, do you know? M4 Southampton. Not it. Now, you can't say I didn't warn you. A few seconds ago, I literally used the words. Oh, I've, I've just The geography it. question is a word question. <laughs> oh. The fourth letter would be an M. It's, you mentioned M's, it's where the M <laughs> appears. Oh, oh. The first letter is M in Mansfield, second in Ambridge, third in oh. Pembroke, so we want M for something like Kilmarnock. It's not a geography question, although, it's for extra one. quizzing fun, I've brought my atlas, which is how I always get around. I'm not really a sat-nav kind of guy. And I'm going to ask you, if you did have to go... Suppose you were on the M1, going to Mansfield, what would you do? Go, go up through Northamptonshire. Well, yes, I mean, if you're on the M1, you'd have to do that, but you'd come off at Junction 27, wouldn't you, probably, and take the A608? Or, well, not it, well Ambridge, of course, is, uh, you know, fictional. You can't go there. But if you're on the M3, going to Pembroke, it's absolutely lovely. Okay. So talk me through. So imagine you're on the M3, you've got to get to Pembroke. What would you do? You would go past Stonehenge on the A303. Well, oh, that's assuming you were starting from the deep west. I mean, you're on the M4, don't you, really? So... You get the M4 using, I'm just looking at it, I mean, perhaps the A339 from Basingstoke, and then you come off the M4, and it's about an hour's drive, isn't it, from there? It's mostly kind of A48, A477. If you think this is going to stop, it isn't. <laughs> while, you, while you find the next one for Ambridge, it's, it's the, based on the village where, where I live. So if, it was, if you're going for that, you could go for the M5 or the M42. Where do you live? Uh, it's in Worcestershire. Do you know what page that's on? Uh, <laughs> not off the top of my head, I'm afraid. I've, I... I My, bet you use I electronic means, it. don't you? <laughs> but enough of these pleasantries. I want to know how you get to Kilmarnock from the M4. Come on. M25, M25 A1. Take the M6, M6 north. M6. Yes, you see, that's the thing. You've got to get to the M5, pick up the M6, so probably near Birmingham. Yeah. You can get all the way to Gretna, can't you? And anyone can find Kilmarnock from there. <laughs> so that's lovely. For me, that's going to be the highlight of the series, that particular chat. <laughs> right, last question of the round is the Horn Viper. What is the fourth in this picture sequence? Here's the first. Jiminy Cricket. Yeah. Next, please. What's one of those over there is called? It cave cave. What's a band called? Beat, not BTS. BTS is one of them. Cricket. Okay. Could be, I don't know the what name of the person. What does it stand for, BTS? I don't know. Go again. Next, please. Uh, I don't know that. That's... Is that Jimmy Michael Rucci? What, no. what was the name of the first one? Jimmy. Jeremy. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. 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 Jimmy, 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 Jimm
on we go to the connecting wall and gardeners it'll be your turn to go first this time so please choose lion or water we'll have the water please okay two and a half minutes to solve the water wall starting now Visage. We've got some French things. Yeah. There's Michelle. Yeah. Michelle Dent, um, Michelle Obama, Michelle Yeo. Michelle Keegan. Should you try those? Is there okay. any other Michelles that we recognise? Was there a Michelle Visage? I think it's a nice I know, because we've got Ma, Pierre, Visage and Bra. Okay. Dent as well. Oh, the French body parts. Dance, yeah. Nice. Very you good. go swivel around those and we'll And what's the last one? Ma. Yeah, so what could Swizzle be if it's not the French one? Oh, it's got sage, it's got herb in it. Good spot. Sage oh, at sage. the end. Have you got any other herbs? I don't think we do. There's definitely Michelle. Lunch. Lunch. I forgot. Uh, happy, uh, let's some word ones. Happy. Fun. Rush is a Oh, film. there's a Michelle Fowler in East Enders. Oh, try her. Oh, maybe not the Michelles. Kevin Keegan. There's a Kevin Keegan. Oh, Golden Golden Girls. Golden Globes. Golden Days. Golden Globes. Rush is a film. Golden um, Egg. Lunch. lunch, lunch hour, lunch out, lunch voucher, Hun lunch free box. lunch, golden box, golden green. What else could I'll um, keep trying the shells? Keep trying the shells. Happy meal. What's Quan? Anybody know what Quan is? Got Got Quan. Got Quan. Is there any other? But you had Gay to it. Got Quan a fashion designer? Yeah. yeah. Could they be like our fashion people? Um, Hunt is the happy meal. Drive Valley. Jeremy Hunt. Lunch. lunch but golden Good. hour lunch hour happy oh, yeah. hour really nice really nice uh, what's rush hour? Hour. Rush yeah hour. really nice okay. so we've got the michelles and michelles now. So we've got, got the we've now? definitely got a barmer keegan yeah Yo. i think i've tried manny and kwan i think i've tried foul i've tried so many you've got 30 seconds what could the other speeds? okay um, owl foul's got owl in we've got birds in the middle egan and what could yo be if it's not I'm sure, I'm sure it's got to be. Try the Michelle's, go again with fashion Michelle's, fashion Michelle's. Anna, and try and put the other one in. Who is... Ten oh, seconds. Oh, yeah. Have you put Fowler oh, in? I don't think I've put Hunt in. Try and put or Hunt have in. I? Uh, did you put Fowler in? Yeah, I've definitely put Fowler in. Try and put Hunt in. Oh. I'm afraid that's your third life with the wall has frozen. But you found two groups and I can give you points for the connections in those groups. So what connects bras, dent and so on? Do you think it's French words for parts of the body? I tried to fox you with my accent, but it's <laughs> bra for arm, tooth, hand and foot. French words for parts of the body. And the next group, golden, happy and so on. That's hours, isn't it? Yeah, hour. They can be followed by hour, quite right. And you can get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find. So let's resolve the wall. There we are. Oh, Fowler, you. Hunt, Keegan and so on. Um, OK, there's a footballer called Fowler. Could there be footballers? There's a footballer called Mane. There's Kevin Keegan and what's it? Do you want to Robbie go Fowler? That? I okay. must press you for an answer. Footballers? And also, I'm afraid, because of the volume of viewers screaming at the screen, <laughs> oh, no. I will have to ask for something else. Uh, do you know Liverpool. Well done. Come on. <laughs> Liverpool wow. strikers. We just looked at you. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, to some people, one of the most obscure pieces of information <laughs> in the world. Liverpool footballers, well done. And the last group, Yo, Obama and so on. We think this is the Michelles. Those oh. are the Michelles. So, yes, Michelle Visage is an American presenter mm -hmm. and actress and Michelle Kwan, a figure skater. Oh. So you found two groups. You gave me all four connections. That is a total of six points. Let's bring in their opponents now, give them the other wall and see how they get on. The lion wall has been left for you also round. So you have two and a half minutes starting now. Oh, we've got quarks, bottom, strange, yeah. top and up, and charm, so you'll have to uh, scroll How many have you got? Five? Yeah. Uh, bottom and strange. OK, and so leave up, up, leave out up. Top. Okay. And then we've got Rebecca, Rebecca's so Rebecca Radlington, Rebecca Ferguson, Rebecca, Rebecca Front. Front. Rebe Rebecca, Rebecca West, is it West? I think so, maybe. Yep. There we go, OK. Axminster, so. Upminster, Leominster and Warminster. And yep. one of the others. So we've got Garden, Garden. Path, Critical Path, Flight Path, Garden, Bike Path. Yep. path. Yeah. We, yeah. You made short work of that. Very well done. You have speedily solved the wall and, of course, I'll give you points for the connections as well. What can you tell me about Bottom, Charm, Strange, Top? Uh, the flavours of quark. Exactly so. For a moment, it was chaps all over again, wasn't it? <laughs> and the next group, Adlington, Ferguson and so on. These are all Rebecca's. They're all Rebecca's. What can you tell me about those Rebecca's? Uh, the swimmer, Rebecca Adlington. Mm -hmm. uh, Ferguson could be either the, uh, the, the singer or the actress. Good. Double Ferguson knowledge there. Uh, Rebecca Frank, the comedian, Plays actress. the superintendent in um, Lewis. 
And you weren't sure about Rebecca and West, but yes, that is an author. What about the next group, Leo Up and so on? These can all be um, followed by Minster to make uh, UK towns. Yes, they can. And the last group, Bridal, Critical and so on. These are all types of path. Absolutely clinical. Very well done. So four more points for the connections and two bonus points. That is a total of ten. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The gardeners have 13 points. The also-rans have 16. Time for the missing vowels round teams. Fingers on the buzzers, please. I can tell you, the first group of disguise clues were all invented in Switzerland. Gardeners. Too long, I'm afraid you must lose a point. Also, Rans. White, White chocolate. chocolate is correct. Also, Rans. Cellophane. Yes, it was. Also, Rans. Moosey. Very good. Also, Rans. The Red Cross. It's like you are Swiss. The next group are words or phrases which end in a sport. Also, Rans. Ring fencing. Correct. Also rans. Toe curling. Yep. Also rans. Top of shooting. Yes, it is. Gardeners. Upcycling. Yes, well done. Next category. Animated films merged with rap artists. Also rans. Chicken Run DMC. Yes, it is. Also rans. Beauty and the Beastie Boys. Well done. Gardeners. Inside Outcasts. I mean, what are these things? Yes. Gardeners. Wall Easy. Yeah, I guess, because I don't know about rappers. I mean, you might call it Easy, but I'll give you the point. Next category, they were all imprisoned on an island. Also rounds. Nelson Mandela. Of course. <laughs> Too late to tell me any more because it's the end of the quiz and looking at the final scores, the winners and through to the next round with 26 points are the also rans. Very well done. Phenomenal round four. You went a bit behind in round two but then roared back. Congratulations, you're through. Gardeners, I am a huge fan of your team. It wasn't the <laughs> best round four but... You're conserving energy for your next match. You have another chance to get through to the later stages later in the series. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you for watching. Coming up next, could you adopt an African elephant? A famously endangered species, one of BBC Two's top presenters looks at how we, the viewers, could help, not just with financial sponsorship, but actually looking after one of these magnificent creatures. That's A Heavy Pet with Michael Portillo, next on BBC Two.